so I wanted to make a video about the curving the text for pretty much the Mickey Mouse image. That's the most I've seen the curving text with. I've made a video before, but my husband was asleep, so I was whispering and it was hard to hear. So I figured I'd re-record it because I've seen more of the questions pop up lately and figured I'd help a little. So first, I go into Word, which is Microsoft Word and all the computers have it. So here's Microsoft Word. I have 2016, but it works with any other one. I've tried it on 2010 and another one. I don't remember the date for that one or the year. So here is the blank document that just came up. You go into insert, then word art, and then I just stick to the first one because you're gonna change it up anyways. So here, since it's already selected and you just opened it up, text effect shadow and take off the shadow. You have to take off the shadow because if it stays on there when you upload it to Design Space, it'll have like a gray outline on the words and it'll be harder to clean it up. And that's just, that takes more time and we're trying to avoid that. So here, since it's still selected, I'm gonna put in the name. And then highlight it. You have to highlight it, because I've noticed if you don't highlight your word, or if you forget to highlight it, it doesn't really do anything. And then, like last time I highlighted, I thought I highlighted it to change the shadow and it wasn't, and it still came up with the shadow, so. So here I'm gonna change it to Walter. All the fonts, I don't know if you know, all the fonts that you guys download from the font are on your word, so that's perfect. Uh, so there's the name. Then I'm gonna change the size to 72, so it's a little bit larger. I'm gonna stretch it out a bit. So I'm gonna highlight it. And then if you notice, whenever you don't highlight it, there's nothing here, it's just view and tell me what you wanna do. And then when you highlight it, a format tab comes up and that's what, that's what we want. So when you highlight the word, format, text effects, transform. When you transform, you have all these options that you can do with your words. Like if you're doing, here's this one. Like if you're doing Star Wars, that's the perfect one for Star Wars. Or this one, I don't know what that would be. Here you have like coming out or this one's a, I guess a, a stretched circle. Here's wiggly and just different ones. These are pretty much the basics. Full circle. This one, whenever you have more than one word, it'll fix it up for you. So I'm gonna stick with this one because that's the one we need. So then I'm just gonna click it. I'm gonna go down here to zoom in and just zoom it into 200. And put a okay, so there's a bigger one. So there is the name. So now I am gonna, cause that, that's, I don't know the screen's just big, so. Okay, now I'm gonna go here. I have mine here cause I I uh, pinned it to the bar, but you can search here. It's called a snipping tool and it's a lifesaver. So first I put snip, just putting snip, it brings it up. See, snipping tool. It's a, it's an all computer, so I'm pretty sure you all have it. <laughs> so you click new, then you make a square around the name. Make sure it's a large enough square because this little purple line that you see right here will show up on the sign space. Then you save. See, I already tried another one. I was doing a different video, but I messed it up. Replace it, yes. You don't have to replace it because it'll be your first one. Okay, now in Design Space, you upload image because it's a regular image, you just saved it, so it's like any normal image. Upload image, browse, and there is the name. Open, simple image, and continue. Okay, so here's the name. I'm going to crop it. You gotta make sure you crop it a slightly smaller square than the one it has so the purple layer doesn't come up. Now I'm gonna clean it. Zoom in. See, without the, um, the extra layer of shadow, it's easier to clean because if you would've had the, the layer of shadow, it would've had it here, like purple, and even with simple image, that thing still comes up, so. There it is, you save it, and here's a cleanup of the name. Save. So here is the name that you just cleaned up. So now you just make it smaller. You can unlock it.
Then move it however small you want it so it actually fits in the spot you want. And that is pretty much it. Then you just select, because I'm using this for freezer paper, so you select and attach it, and then it's easier to cut. So for me, that's an easier way to curve text. Now, if you have a longer name, obviously it'll curve a lot better, but this is good for me. It still looks like a circle. So, yep, that's it. Happy crafting.